So I got home and wanted to do a video talking about our egg business. <laughs> You're leaving me? <laughs> and my son said it's too late for all that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I appreciate the laughs that he's helped provide for me since I've been home because I was tired and yeah so thank you Nasir anyway this is a video that we made and the last one is kind of more serious because he was not feeling my silliness you didn't want to be silly with me on camera Nasir <laughs> you're recording Why are we doing this at 10:30? <laughs> because I love you, and I like. I think I. I want everybody to experience how we interact. <laughs> You're not gonna talk now. <laughs> I'm recording. I'm serious. <laughs> Driving home. I had the thought to talk about the egg business, where it's been, where it is now, and where I want it to go. Um, based on some feedback I got from my Facebook page. Um, so, we started off as a delivery service, and that went really well. And from there, we did a combination of delivery service and farmer's market. So. Why am I no longer in the farmer's market? Um, the main reason is because the delivery service picked up and I didn't have enough product to make it worth my while to do both anymore. Um, so we opted out of the farmer's market. And my goal initially was only being there for a season, which was like March through, I think March through the first week of December. But we stopped, I think I stopped in September. Um, but I really like that farmer's market. However, a lot of the other vendors apparently didn't do too well. Um, so they closed that market down. And what else to me about the farmer's market? Oh, so I did, en I, I totally enjoyed my farmer's market experience. I met really cool people. Um, and it was just a blessing. Like, I really enjoyed going. Sometimes it was a bit much going every weekend. Um... But, and I don't even think this year we could have done it every weekend because of the cameraman schedule. Because I do prefer to be at his events while he's still home. Um, because pretty soon I won't be able to. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, um, so am I going to be at another farmer's market? I don't plan to anytime soon, not as an egg vendor, probably because of the fees um, associated with paying the city and then paying the the booth fee. Like if it was just a booth fee, I probably would be more inclined to do it, but paying the city um, a permit fee doesn't really ring a bell. Plus the delivery service is the bomb. Um, so what am I doing? Right now I'm in the process of trying to streamline the delivery service to where it's more, um, I wouldn't say it's more, actually it is a little bit more organized, but then also to where it's more centrally located, or I should say getting more deliveries that are, um, I should say centrally located so that it's not so Erica centered. Um, were centered around me so that anybody could just pick up and do it. This is not working well. I don't like the way this video is going. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm in the process of streamlining sales and partly because it needs to be done and the other is because we are planning to um, expand to try to get numbers back to where we were both in a farmer's market and doing delivery. Um... And it's one thing, I'm kind of nervous about it, to be honest, but I'm also excited to see if it can be done. And one of the things that inspires me is 
knowing that about 300 people move to this area, to Dallas area, a day they say. Which means that I have a big customer base. So yeah, so that's where we are. Um, trying to sell a bunch of eggs via a delivery service. And I don't think I'm missing anything. Am I forgetting something, sir? <laughs> you just ready to stop? He didn't want me to record a video, nor did he want to record a video at 10 p.m. But here we are, and he's giving me the wrap it up. Okay, thank you.